Hey guys, in today's video I will show you guys how to create this distorted kinetic typography animation in After Effects by using time displacement maps. So when you're in After Effects, create a new composition by pressing Ctrl N. I will call it Main, make it Full HD, 30 FPS and around 10 seconds long. Then we will create a new text layer by using the text layer tool. Write in whatever you want. Then center the text by using the align tool and most importantly press Y on your keyboard and move the anchor point to the left corner of the text. Then press S to bring up the scale properties, unlink it, create a keyframe, go around two frames forward and make the scale to 0%. Then press Ctrl Shift D, delete the layer so we only have the animation part. Then press Ctrl D to duplicate it. Press Y again and move the anchor point to the right side of the text. Then press U to bring up the scale property again. Then select both of those keyframes, right click, keyframe assistant, and time reverse keyframes. So we will now have this animation. Then select both of them, right click, pre-compose and call it text animation. Then press Cont Ctrl, Alt and T to enable time remapping. Then create a keyframe at 1 second and 29 frames, delete the keyframe at 2 seconds and then press Alt and click on the stopwatch icon and click on this little button, go to property and choose loop out. So now the animation will be looped just like this. Now to create the distorted effect, we will create a new shape layer by double clicking on the rectangle tool. Choose any fill, like the white, disable the stroke, then right click, pre-compose, and important is that you move all, attribute, move all attributes into the new composition. Let's call it distorted effect effect, drag it under your text animation, then go into it, go to effects and presets and search for gradient ramp. You can just leave it like that, then go into your main composition again and um, go and click on your text animation composition and search for time displacement and the time displacement layer should be this is the distorted effect layer and the max displacement time you just have to play around with it so it will look good for you so for now we will have this animation but um, you can just play around with this uh, composition so you can I know draw any lines maybe just like this completely random doesn't have to look good enable the stroke and uh, just blur it more even just like this so it will be even more distorted now we have this animation and you can just play around with it until you get something what you like and another thing you could do is you could create another shape layer just like this enable the fill again and then search for turbulent noise and then you can also create this effect by just playing around with the noise settings a little bit But uh, 
maybe lower the contrast so now it will look like this you just have to play around a little bit you can use like any shapes you want or even a video footage file to uh, create this distorted effect which looks uh, pretty cool <laughs> 